Yo, what's up, guys? Premi the Remy in the house, showcasing for you guys today Sonic Generations The Lost Zones. So, basically, what this fan game is, is it's trying to create a generations for the forgotten games, the 8 bit games, you know? Because, I mean, the main generation is catered to the main titles, the 3DS version catered to the handle titles, but it forgot the Game Gear titles, the originals, you know? So we're about, we're about to showcase this right now. It's supposed to be like a recreation of the original Game Gear stages, and I'm not too familiar with the Game Gear stages because it's been a while since I played them, but we're still going to get into this. So we can select Sonic and Tails. We're going to go with Sonic first, and then we'll try out Tails after. So yeah, let's get into this. So, we're in a place called White Space. Oh, so it's like trying to recreate the hub world, I guess. Or did I just jump in? Oh, that's the characters there. Okay, never mind. But yeah, so I guess this is trying to recreate the Generations hub world. So, I think this is actually the first 8-bit Sonic game that I've covered on my channel ever. Okay, so we've got space bar to jump. we got up, down, left, right. I'm assuming we've got a spin dash. Yeah. This is looking pretty cool. Like, an 8-bit Generations? Like, I like this concept already, man. So, I'm guessing these are stages? So we'll just jump into the first one that we see. Green Hill Test. Alright then, let's get into this, man. Alright, so... Man! I've never actually played one of the, like, Game Gear games, like, on full screen, like, on PC, like, higher res like this. It looks really good, honestly. You've got that 8-bit Green Hill music, like... It's probably been, like, at least 10 years since I last played the 8-bit games. Like, I had Mega Collection as a kid, and that's how I played the classics. You know, 1, 2, 3, Knuckles and all that. And you know, I mean, after dying, or not dying, well, yes, dying, on the Barrel of Doom, after getting timeouts and shit, eventually you gotta play the other games, so <laughs> you went on to the 8-bit games, and a lot of them were pretty fun, except those, the ones I didn't like were the ones that tried to act like they were like a 3D game or something. Like, the one I really didn't like was called, what was it called, Sonic Chaos? Was it that one? Like, no, Sonic Blast, yes, not 3D Blast, Sonic Blast, that game was jank, like, I hated that. Okay, we got invisibility. Look at that, man. But the frame rate here is a bit weird. Like, it's like it's not it's not super smooth. Ooh, is that death? Ooh, that was close. Yeah, the frame rate is pretty like lacking, to be honest. It's like it's running at 30 FPS, and I mean, for an 8-bit game running on a PC that can run generations at 4K or main generations, kind of weird. But I guess that will get fixed in the later update. But I think we just finished that test stage, so I guess we're back in the hub world. Now, even though it's Generations, I don't think there's any classic or modern, so I guess we're just going to the main Green Hill, I guess, so yeah. Alright, so this is the actual Green Hill Zone, the, the main zone. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of this, because I think this is pretty cool, pretty cool concept. Is that, is that a red ring? I want that, man. Come on, come on, come on, come, 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 come on, come on, do I need a run up? Okay, let's go, jump, jump, okay. Okay, oh, I forgot, you know, the 8-bit games, when you lose your rings, they really just disappear on you, like, that's pretty much it. Okay, so I guess there are red rings in these stages, so they are taking some cues from the newer Sonic games, so yeah, we're gonna grab that. Oh, don't, 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 no, no, we're not about to die, I'm not embarrassing myself. You didn't see anything. Alright, okay. Okay, can I, can I please get up there, okay? Because you lose, your, because the rings disappear instantly, you gotta be careful about that or else you're gonna mess up and die. That's always something I remembered about the 8-bit games, alright. That platform is moving crazy fast, man. Like, how am I supposed to... Wow, like, ooh, big rings, wow. Look, look at those big rings. Oh, no, those are hoops, okay. I thought those were, like, just genuine big rings. Can I get in there? Ooh, I found the second red ring. Okay, so, some exploration in there, okay. These guys are going in, like, level design-wise, it feels like I'm playing the official 8-bit games. Which I think, I think most of them were developed by Yuji Naka. I think there was, like, Sonic Team stuff. But I don't know, maybe they were developed by other people. Ooh, god, okay. Momentum's still on point right now. But yeah, this looks pretty cool, honestly. Like, oh, come on! I now remember why the 8-bit games are so forgotten. So the end was right there. <sighs> wow. One thing that you may not know about the 8-bit games if you haven't played them is that they don't have checkpoints, at least from my knowledge, because it's been a while, but 
But yeah, they don't have checkpoints. So if you die towards the end of the stage, get wrecked. You're going back to the beginning. Like, that's just how it is. That's how it goes. So, all right. Is there another stage that we should be looking for? Ooh, Sky High. What Sonic game is that? I think that's from Sonic 2, like the 8-bit version. All right, so we'll play this with Sonic. And then if there's, I think there's another stage. So we'll play the next stage of Tails. If there's no other stage, then I'll just, you know, play one of the previous stages with Tails or something. But, ooh, look at this. I'm loving this so far. I think this is from Sonic 2 8-bit. I'm not too sure. Someone's probably already typing in the correction right now. Is that supposed to be a platform I'm supposed to jump on? Because it's not letting me get on there. But actually, I think the Sonic, um, the 8-bit games actually took, like, level, like, layout cues and stuff from the 16-bit games. So this is, like, kind of reminding me of Hilltop Zone, actually. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, God. Okay, okay, okay. So many traps, man. Like... Oh god. Okay. Okay. Get up. Get up. Yeah, it's definitely reminding me of Hilltop. Can I please get up? Oh god. Ah, I've lost my rings. I'm pretty sure there's probably a red ring down there, but I can't be bothered to go for it. But since I've fallen, I might as well go there. Okay, it's rings. Okay. Can I just please get up there? Oh god. That music is so cool, though. Honestly, it reminds me of, um,. That one stage in Sonic Advance, like that 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 detective sounding soundtrack. I've forgotten the name of the, the stage in Sonic Advance. There's a there's a stage in there that's got a really cool. So How was I supposed to see that? Like they make you build momentum and then they just hit you with like a pit. Like seriously, like chill. Okay, rings, rings. Okay, okay. Do these platforms work? Because the last one at the beginning of the stage didn't work. Okay, okay, okay. Calm down. Calm down. Okay, they don't work. Can I just jump? Okay. They're gonna make this hard on me. Man, I spin that just Oh, what the? What the? What? The, what? Oh, is that? Is there a checkpoint? Wow. Okay. I didn't see that coming. But yeah, I guess there was a checkpoint then. So I guess I've been proven wrong. Okay, but what the hell am I supposed to go then? There's a pit here. You go there and it hits you and takes you there. <sighs> you know what? Let's just switch to Tails now because Tails is probably going to be OP anyway. You know, he flies or whatever. Maybe that will help us get through the stage because right now, Sonic is just failing me right now. So we just, we're just, just going to switch to Tails right now. Let's go back into the stage. All right. So, so I got mash the button to fly. How long can I fly for? Not pretty long. Okay, so now we can take that route that Sonic wasn't able to take because the platforms don't work. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> that now we're talking. Now look at this route. Should I take the hoops or should I take the spring? I'm gonna take the hoops. Okay, okay, get up there, get up there. Now we are freaking talking. Let me get a life because I'm probably gonna need it. Now, can I spin dash your tails? He's got spin dash and flight. It's gone. It's that's it. It's that's it. <laughs> We're done. Ooh, red ring. All right, let's do one more of those OP jump flies. I'm so skipping the stage. After after what the stage put me through. Oh no 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 no. Chill. Get up there. That's the chaos emerald. Ugh, shit. That is how we roll. Those before man oh my god that is how we roll that is how we roll okay that was that was lit oh my god i'm so only using tails now okay we've got another stage called green hills so we had green hill sky high and then we've got green hills let's take a look at this stage so i guess the emeralds are probably scattered in the stages somewhere i don't know but yeah let's Ooh, it's some nice music I don't know if these are like I think I think the songs are taken straight from the 8-bit games to the best of my knowledge, but as I said before, it's been a while since I played them, so I can't really say for sure. I'm sure there's some hardcore 8-bit Sonic fan watching this right now, just you know itching to correct me, so you know, I can handle it, but yeah. I really need to replay the 8-bit games. In fact, I probably do playthroughs of them on my channel eventually. 
And man, it's just so tempting to skip the whole stage of Tails. Like, I know you want to see the stage, but at the end of the day, like, I've been getting too many game overs to be taking bottom pathways. Like, Tails just slays right now. Like, they make Tails too broken sometimes. Like, that's the thing I love about Heroes is that Tails wasn't broken. Like, he had a fix. I'm not even moving the keyboard right now. It's just moving forward. But yeah, it's th the fact that Tails had a fixed, like, you know, flight gauge or whatnot, and you couldn't abuse it too much. I just missed that red ring. Oh, well. At this rate, we'll make it to the end of the stage in no time. So yeah, we just completed Green Hills. I wonder if there's a boss or anything, or... I'm not too sure. Alright, let's see what the next stage is. Can we go up here? Okay, I can't die in the hub. Okay, I guess this is supposed to be the next stage. If I remember the 8 bit games, I probably know what stage that is, but I don't right now. And this is probably supposed to be the stage after that, but it doesn't seem like it's done. Okay, it's got some text here. Thank you so much for downloading and playing Sonic Generations Lost Zones. This concludes the end of this demo. Anyway, man, that brings us to the end of this video. We showcased Sonic Generations The Lost Zones, so make sure to like this video. Leave a comment, let me know what you thought about the video. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Sonic games, Mario games, Nintendo games, you know the drill, man. And stay tuned for more coming soon to the channel. But yeah, it's a wrap right now, so thanks you guys for watching. It's been real. The Remy out.